So, you've accomplished the impossible. You're actually dating Kate Baptista now. That's right. I'm the fanciful wooer of women. And Besides, she didn't stand a chance when the hands of fate pushed us together in that project. That's funny. I heard it was less the hands of fate and more your hand up in the air volunteering to be paired with her on that project. I heard you nearly fell out of your seat. Yeah, well, sometimes the hands of fate just need a little nudge. And besides, opposites attract. It'll be a good experience for her. In a week, she'll become a better, more likable Kate. She'll go from shrew to my boo in less than a week. Just you wait. I'll be amazed if you can manage to tame this particular shrew. So what's your game plan? My money's on either hypnotism or behavioral conditioning. You gonna give her chocolate every time she's not mean? I won't have to resort to anything that drastic. It's like a coin trick, moving a quarter from your left hand to your right and keeping the audience focused on something inconsequential, like your left hand instead of your right hand. All I have to do is resort to a little bit of trickery. If she's ever yelling at me for some stupid reason, I'll just say that her voice is melody to my ears. If she ever frowns, I'll say her smile's radiant. If she's ever sarcastic, I'll laugh at her wit. She can't hate me if she never knows where the conversation's gonna go next. All right, but uh, in this scenario, who's the coin? No one's the coin. Forget the coin. Kate and I are like fire. Because you burn up the dance floor. Because Billy Joel didn't start you? No, because we're both burning, bright, and painful. You never really know where a relationship is gonna go. I wonder what she's doing right now. I should probably invite her to that Love Microwave concert next week. Girls like music, right? Even though you haven't had a date in four years? All right, I'm sorry I picked my major based on what something I wanted to do rather than what I thought would net me the most ladies. Besides, Kate's smart. How long do you think before she catches on to the fact you're only dating her for the money? That doesn't matter, as long as I'm a good magician. And for now, all that you or anyone else needs to know is that I'm dating Kate to date her. Speaking of which, my lady requires my presence for a Skype conference call with her father. Until later, goodbye, good sir. Good luck and Godspeed. Well, who knows? There might just be some hope for those crazy kids. <laughs> well, I suppose it would be nice to have someone to go on dates with Bianca and me, if I can ever work up the nerve to ask her out. <laughs>